Hello and welcome back to a brand new building project. Now in today's episode, I want to show you how to build this modern house. You can see it is a quite big house. And in this episode, we are fully going to focus on the exterior. And in the next one, we are going to build the interior of this house. If you want to build along, this is actually everything you need. I will have the same list in the description. Once you got everything, let's get started. We're going to start off by outlining the build. We're going to have two one wide windows on the sides. Then here we're going to have the entrance. After that, we're going to build in the sides, which is actually the same. We're going to have two one wide windows next to each other. And here we're going to have a wall, which is four blocks wide. Now let's do the same thing over on this side. And on the back side, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Then build every white concrete block up with seven blocks in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do that for each one. Now it is time to get the windows in and I will show you one side and each window and wall is going to look exactly the same. So you want to go in, you can get rid of this row of blocks and then add a row of white concrete connecting these two points. Here we are going to add two more blocks on the inner side. So this is how each window is going to look. For the entrance, you just want to build it up. And we're going to basically do the same thing go across like this then we're going to have the door right here fill this in as well then take your stairs place it in place your buttons in as well then take your quartz slabs and go across like that okay now you can get each and every window in as well. next up we're going to get the second floor in before that you want to make sure that you light up each corner then we're going to add a row of dark oak planks going all the way around. Now to get the second floor in, what you want to do first again is you want to build up each quartz pillar with seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do that for each one again. Then again, we're going to make the same window design for the second floor. Here we go and make sure that you connect each pillar. Here we're going to have a wall instead of a window. So you can just simply build this all up and connect this together. But before we continue decorating, you want to make sure that you get each window for the second floor in. Uh, the decoration for the windows is actually quite simple. You just want to add your buttons followed with your glass. And that is basically the decoration for the windows. Then you want to take some quartz slabs and place it in going across like that. And you want to do this for each and every window. Before we go ahead and decorate the pillars, what we're going to do is we're going to decorate the side walls. To start off, what you want to do is you want to get rid of this block in the middle. Then you can simply replace this with some black concrete. And we're going to have an empty wall like this. To start off, add your stairs. Then take your iron bars, place it in. On the sides, you want to go up with some iron bar. Then on this point, you want to go in. Here you want to add your stairs. After that, you can take your buttons and place them in. Then you want to take your slabs, place it in, followed with two lanterns. And we're going to do that for each and every wall. Then we're going to decorate the entrance a little bit. So get rid of these blocks and add your stairs. Again, you want to add some iron bars, but this time you want to go ahead and add some slabs. On top of this, you just want to add your upside down stairs followed with buttons like this on the sides you want to have two iron bars 
the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to decorate the pillars so let's start off with the first floor and add your stairs in then we're going to do the same thing but this time we're going to go all the way around and you just want to stop once you are at this point and do the same thing on the other side now we are going to repeat this just one more time so go up here and go all the way around with your stairs then take some trapdoors and place it in going all the way around now you want to do the same thing on top of the edge of your roof Now what we're going to do for the side is a little bit different. I already got this one. You want to replace this block with some stair and then go up with your chains. And do the same thing down here as well. If you want to, you can even add some chains on these pillars, but I'm going to leave it as it is. Now before we get the roof in, what you want to do is you want to add a row of black carpet going across. Here we go and what that is going to do is it's going to add a little bit more depth now i'm going to get rid of these two on the sides so let's add the roof first and let's after that focus a little bit more on the garden to start off you want to add a row of stairs to make it easier to place the second row what you want to do is you want to cover this with some planks What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up three or four more rows, but I'm going to do exactly the same thing each time. When you are at the third row, what you might see is an area like this. So what you want to do is you want to go in and go back out so that you can simply continue this out. And after this one, I'm going to add one or two more. As you can see, I got five rows in and once you are done, you can even make this bigger don't get me wrong you don't have to make it five high you can make it six or seven but i am happy with five and now i'm going to cover this with some slabs after you got this all covered you can just place a campfire you can even add four if you want to to make it more visible now let's decorate the roof a little bit as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in line with this and replace these blocks with some deep state tile stairs i will do the same thing over here and maybe even up here as well just like that okay just to add a little bit more darkness to the roof so we're going to create a small garden so you want to mix in cobblestone with some polished and the side we're going to make a very simple garden area you want to take some leaves and you want to start here let's expand this a little bit more then from this point on you want to go from this point you want to go in and once you are in line with this what you want to do is you want to start going diagonal and once you are in line with this you can just continue this out and surround the base with some leaves then we are going to simply decorate the garden area by adding walls and I'm going to show you a small portion of it but all the rest is going to look exactly the same. Want to add your walls followed with some doors, and then you can just add a lantern on top of the walls. Easy as that. So you just want to do this pattern all the way around. On the sides you can just simply place some walls and if you want to light this up you can just add one here, one here and then continue from this point on so that you don't overuse the lanterns. And because of the fact I'm using a flat world I'm going to add some trees on the sides. And here we go. That is going to be it for the exterior of this house. In the next episode, we are 100% going to focus on the interior and we are going to do some lovely stuff. Now, hopefully you all enjoyed this. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Have a nice day. I see you the next time.